Anyway, this share our attention TV so we dey our one same demo. Aye, our one same at the cows our one same demo. Di me kese demo. Abusi an phone. So obiti me shunda ya ma eba reality party. And said that NTB, I will go and memo has seen us in a month. So, that's when you copy me, I was in North. I see how be I was Central Regional. I wafa, wafa kofi. I naturally say, daye muno all shono. So now when they like to turn up, I want to try Eddie Amano. So now what? Now be any baby as a kind of a free bar. Yeah, so now the kitchen. So baby, I done the second band. Se o tu chan na mini na e wo da ye munu se na hone munu sonu ne be ma nyanko pon e di ama de se won fa ti de e wo ba hono na o twa e wo hone mu oni de da ye wo sonu de o tu chan na e wo e da ye munu so e ba no hone mu pa dia ne be ma nyanko pon e di ama no ana wo twa e di atwa tne a de se ne ni ba no ho sonu ne de abranti e wo twa kra na wo asem ne mu e chire mu so ana ne yere that time, you know, it's quite now. So, the animal, dear, and an area will hold yourself by young quiet. I say, Banu, no, my dear, I assemble papa, papa, a ye, we, and I will host a mom, a kind of steady feet, a send note, and central region home will be. Ever caught near Kuti, a money bunny at the abba. A 47 year old man, Kofiata, popularly known as Wapata, is currently battling for his life at the St. Francis Xavier Hospital in Asinfosu after. He allegedly cut off his genitals with knives while dreaming. The victim, a native of Asin Akonfode in the Asin North District of the Central Region, is said to have had a dream on Friday, August 12, 2022, that he was slaughtering goats to help his wife prepare an evening meal. It is reported that he suddenly realized that he was rather chopping off his penis mysteriously in his sleep. The victim's wife, Adra Kunedu, who had traveled when the incident happened, says she had a distress call from a neighbor that her husband is bleeding profusely as he has cut off his manhood with a sharp knife. She quickly rushed home and found her husband sitting on a chamber pot, full of blood with his penis in his hand. Without delay, she brought diapers to support her husband from losing his manhood and quickly rushed him to the hospital for medical attention. The victim has since been referred to the Konfanoti Teaching Hospital in Kumasi for further treatment, but is still stuck in a sinful so due to financial constraints. Well, uh, I'm joined on the phone by Dr. Isaac Newman Arthur, who is a clinical psychologist. Uh, Doc, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, this is very bizarre, but does it happen? Is it normal? Uh, it, it, when I heard it, it was quite difficult to 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 think about it because usually it doesn't happen that way. You know, people may have all kinds of sleep-related problems, but to go to that extent, uh, I'm wondering what happened. Uh, I'm also I'm also quite surprised. But anything is possible. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, from a from a psychological point of view, um, I don't know how it is with mental illness, um, illness or sleep. You know, some people have certain sleep disorders. So they say some people sleep walk, sleep talk, and all of that. But doesn't it come with pain? For instance, if you are chopping off your penis, you should be able to feel some pain, no? Yeah, well, you know, uh, for example, if you look at sleepwalk, uh, it virtually happens, uh, you know, we have sleep cycles. We go through several cycles, about to four to five cycles every every time we sleep over that period of, of five to eight hours or so or more. And so in one of those times, you know, arousal, you know, there is this, uh, what do you call it? There is this a threshold for arousal is quite high. It's just like in between sleep and, and wakefulness. You know, so around that time, people may sleepwalk and do all kinds of things. And so uh, it's not too unusual for people to sleepwalk or sleep talk at some time of, or, uh, during, uh, during the night when they sleep. Uh, but to uh, cut, the, some may even uh, uh, get into their car and start driving and not knowing that that is what is happening to them. Some may go to the washroom and come back and not even notice. Some may sit, sit up, you know, and all kinds of unusual behaviors. So it's possible it's one one of those times, uh, and and so anything is possible actually, but it's quite strange. Um, you know, this is my first time of hearing someone do something to themselves while they are asleep. <laughs> okay, huh? Very bizarre indeed. But 
You know, let's expand this conversation a little further. Uh, these things that happen during sleep, is, is it a disorder? Is it, a, is, it, is it some sort of illness or is it normal? Yeah, so, so it is part of sleep-related problems. Okay. You know, some people may not even sleep at all, insomnia. Some may sleep too much and stuff like Some may have sleep terror, sleep, uh, what do you call it, paralysis. Some may have, you know, uh, sleep work and all that. So it's part of it. And usually there, there may be an underlying problems. You know, for example, when someone is sleep deprived for a long time, or they may have some stresses, or may have some, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, their sleep is disrupted, you know, uh, over, over a certain period. And some may have even some breathing problems when they sleep, you know, and some medications, you know, can actually induce all these substance use, alcohol use related problems and stuff like that. And some people may have some acid reflux problems, you know, so there may be an underlying cause. And there are some people to, uh, as they grow, uh, what do you call it? Usually it's in younger people. As they grow older, it, it goes away. Some people may even have it in their families. So if you have some families, maybe one family member had sleep-related problems, you know, and it may be transferred to the other person, you know, and things like that. So sometimes there may be some underlying problems, you know, that that may uh, may cause uh, things like that. So uh, you can't just, uh, what do you call it, uh, come to a conclusion until you have some uh, conversation with the person about about it. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, Dr. Arthur Newman is a clinical psychologist. Away from that, the decomposed body of a 22-year-old charcoal seller has been found hanging in an abandoned public toilet at Gomorbri in the Goma West District of the Central Region. Information gathered by GH1 TV's Yabwe Jan indicates that the deceased, Kobanajata, has been missing for about three months in the community. There's more in the following reports. Speaking in an interview with GH1 News, the chief of Gumwa, Obri Nana Apo Bondam V, alleged that a client of the deceased gave him an amount of money to produce charcoal for the client, but he failed to do so and was nowhere to be found, so they all thought he had travelled to buy charcoal from neighbouring villages, as he usually does. The community chief suspects the deceased, Kobinajata, committed suicide to prevent being shamed by his client. He mentioned that this was the first time such an incident had occurred in the community, but advised the youth in the area to be truthful in their dealings with people when doing business. Uh, you I have been invited to foundation and I have seen the same image of the summer attention TV.